Hey guys, welcome or welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a map root animation inside of DaVinci Resolve. We'll first create our root inside of Google My Maps, and then we'll take that root inside of QGIS, where we will create our base map and import the root as well. And then finally, we can import that data inside of DaVinci Resolve for further animation. Before we begin, if you are new to the channel, make sure you like the video and also subscribe to the channel if you find out this video helpful. Also, there's a link in the description to my store. You can check that out if you're looking for some templates for DaVinci Resolve. I have also a course that you can take a look at if you want to improve your map making skills. So without wasting any more time, let's create a new map. By the way, you can just search for Google My Maps on Google itself and you will get this website and then you can just move anywhere that you want in the world. So I'm going to go to Madrid over here. Hola Madrid. So we'll just create a map root animation from Madrid to um, Valencia. If you do this manually using the polygon mask tool, it will take a long time to create this entire route, right? If you have a really small route, let's say for example, from uh, this place to this place, R5 to M40, then I believe it is best if you just use the DaVinci's um, polygon mask tool to create your route manually. Uh, but for a longer route, I think it is best uh, if we just use this tool over here, Google My Maps. It will save you a lot of time. So to create a route, we have to first of all click on this icon that says Add Direction. Go ahead and click on that. And then on the left side, you will see a new layer will pop up. And you can even change the uh, transportation mode. If you click on click here, you can choose between driving mode, bicycle, and uh, you can even choose the walking mode. But we use the default, which is the driving mode. And then we have point A, point B, point A being the source and point B being the destination. So for our source, we'll put Madrid over here. And for our destination, we'll put Valencia. And then it will just uh, map out a route for you on this map over here. And now we can export this route and import it inside of uh, QGIS. You can even modify the route here if you want to do that but I think I'm, I'll just leave to the default route over here. To export the route, you have to click on this three dot menu and click on export KML KMZ. So go ahead and click on that. And then from this uh, list, choose directions from Madrid, Spain to Valencia, and then click on this download icon. Now it will start downloading your file and then open up QGIS. This is a blank project. Now we need to create a base map. We will be using OpenStreetMap for this. Um, if you don't know how to get the base maps inside of QGIS, you can watch my previous video. You just have to install a couple of plugins such as Quick Map Services and HCMGIS to get these base maps. So I'm going to use OpenStreetMaps, double click on it to import that. And now we will find this file that we just downloaded, the KMZ file. and import it inside of QGIS. So just simply drag and drop it. And there you have it. So now you can see that uh, this file contains basically two layers. One is the point layer and the other one is the, the shape file itself. Um, so we are only interested in the shape file. So let's just select that and click on add layers. And uh, you can see that right over here, uh, we have that root over here. So to quickly zoom into that, uh, location, all you have to do is just right click on this layer that says directions from Madrid to Valencia and click on zoom to layers and it will uh, zoom the map to that location. So if you hold the control key and use the mouse wheel, you can just uh, zoom out slightly, something like that. And now we can export this map. So um, again, I have shown this how to do this in my previous video, but again, let's uh, do this. All right, so let's hide the root over here. And we're not only left with the base map. To export this, we have to create a new print layout, which is this icon over here. Go ahead and click on that, and this window will open up. You can just um, call it whatever you want. I'm going to call it one, two, three. Click on OK. And now you can simply click on this um, blank space over here and change the size from A4 to custom. I will change the units from millimeters to pixels. And for the width and the height, I'm going to use a 4K resolution, which is 3804 by 2160. And 
and for the background we can set this opacity to 0% and then to draw the map you have to click on this icon that says add map click on that and then simply drag from one corner to the other like so and it will start rendering your map there we have our map over here and to export this map you have to go to the top over here and click on export as image and then you can just basically save it any way that you want if you if you see any window before this main window over here then just ignore that click on close button and you will you'll see this window over here so you can save this map any way that you want i'm gonna save it in my pictures folder i'm gonna call it map and click on save and this is the width and the height it's actually changed it to 3803 let's just make this 3804 and click on save and now you see you'll see this link over here at the top and this is where it has saved your map so if you click there uh, it will open up your file explorer and then you can just view your map over there all right cool so now we can close out of this now we need to export our route and for that we have to hide our open street map here so just go ahead and hide it and um, enable or unhide the root over here and now you have to open up the layout or the print layout window again which is already open in my case but if it's not if you close it accidentally then you can open it up by going into this show layout manager and from here you have this window you have this print layout you can double click on it to open it up so since mine is already open i can just uh, go ahead and open that again and now you just simply have to click on a refresh view and it is going to take whatever is in your main canvas over here and it's going to update it right over here as well so just click on refresh view and you have this root over here All right cool now we need to save this as a svg file so right next to export as image we have this option export as svg click on that and then we can save it to the same location i'm going to just rename this to root and click on save click on save again and again it has created this link so now we can open up DaVinci Resolve and import our map in here uh, and then let's exit out this media pool over here you can see it's actually it's actually 3804 by 2160 I'll go to fusion and import the svg file that we just created using QGIS which is right over here double click on that to open it up and uh, this is uh, the width and the height for now let's click on ok because we can change it at any point in time so it created this group double click on that and uh, let's actually take a look at this last node which is merge 3 and it is using this resolution over here uh, which is a mismatch uh, we need to change that uh, but for now let's just click on path 1 if you select that node nothing really is highlighted over here uh, path 3 is kind of again it does not select this route but if you click on path 4 this is the main node that we want so we, what we can do is we can actually copy the path 4 and background 3 copy it and paste it outside the group like that and you can delete this route we don't need that anymore and now you can connect the map let's just call this map real quick and we can connect this with the uh, svg file that we just created um, right something like that let's connect this and now we can connect it like that take a look at merge one and right now it is uh, it is not where it should be and that's because if we take a look at this background go to image uh, the width and the height is quite different we want it to have the same width and the height as the image so uh, we will type in for the width 3804 and for the height it is going to be 2160 and hit enter and now you can see that the map is now in the correct position uh, now you can go to the path 4 over here and reduce the border width if you think that it is too thick you can just control the weight over here and then you can pretty much um, go to the color over here and you can even change the type to gradient if you want to do that All right so maybe can start from here and go until here the second color you can just pick a different color um, like that um, so yeah, that is uh, basically it you can go to the very first frame 
and go back to the path over here and uh, animate the length property. So at the very first frame, we want the length to be zero. And at the last frame, we want the length to be one. And we have this map root animation. You can even go to the spline and, uh, you know, make it, make the animation look uh, more smoother by selecting the keyframes and then clicking on this icon that says smooth. So yeah, that is pretty much it. Then you can further animate this by adding a DVE or you can even add a 3D camera for more advanced animations. Uh, but again, yeah, that is up to you how you want to animate it further. I think this is quite sufficient. Uh, you can even add some color corrections after this map if you, you know, want to make a really cool looking map, you can like kind of change the look of it and looks really cool in my opinion. Um, so yeah, that is pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful. I hope it will help you in your upcoming projects. Again, thank you so much for watching. See you guys in the next one.